Hello, everyone. This is Latia for you coming today with another scripture from the Lord. We are in Luke chapter 17, verse 10, Hebrews chapter 8, verse 3, and Matthew chapter 4, verse 9. Let's go ahead and pray and we can get started. Thank you, Lord God, for this truth. Thank you for showing us the way. Help us to have wisdom and understanding in this teaching. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys, Luke chapter 17, verse 10. So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, say, we are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. All right. And so this is Christ telling a parable about a servant and how um, that servant doesn't um, just come in from watching the sheep or, or farming or whatever it is that that servant is doing and just come in and relax and put his feet up. When he comes in, he's still a servant, right? And he still has work to complete, maybe summer supper to make or other things to be done, right, for the master. And so it's not until they've completed all those things that they can go and get washed up and get dressed and, and come and sit down and eat, right? And so that's how we live our Christian walk, right? And when we've done these things, you know, when we've walked through this life, when we've done the work that the Father has set before us, when we um, go out and, and tell other people about Christ and we're working and living in this world for Christ, um, we don't just stop midstream and just say, you know, I've done all I need to do. I'm maxed out, you know, like, no, you continue on until this race is finished, right? Then you can enter into that rest. Um, but until then you have to keep going. You have to keep working for the Lord. You have to keep doing the will of the father. Why? So that you can be saved. No, salvation is a free gift. Um, but this has to do with eternal rewards. This has to do with the fact that, you know, Christ gave such a complete gift to us. Why not give to him and to the kingdom if that's his will um, is for us to abide in him? So we need to make sure that we are continuing on in the work of the father, giving good gifts to the father because he has given a great perfect gift to us, which is Christ Jesus. All right. The second scripture that the Lord gave me was Hebrews chapter eight, verse three, for every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. Thus it is necessary for this priest also to have something to offer. All right. And so it says for every high priest is appointed to offer gifts and sacrifices. So we know the Levitical priesthood offered you know, doves, goats, rams, all sorts of animals, food, libation offerings, you know, all sorts of offerings on the altar, right? And so that is their um, offering of gifts and sacrifices. It says um, in the second half of the scripture, thus it is necessary for this priest also to have something to offer. And who is this priest? This priest is Christ Jesus himself. Um, and, and the thing that he offered was his life, right? He laid his life on the line um, to death and beyond, right? So um, he, he laid his life down and that was the perfect gift for all of us. Amen. All right. And so the third scripture, Matthew chapter four, verse nine, and he said to him, all these I will give you if you will fall down and worship me. All right. And so this is a perfect example of, of you know, trying to take a gift that is not given yet, right? Trying to um, walk in an appointment that is not yours or 
or doing something before it's time, right? Um, giving up uh, it before it's time. And so um, giving up the race because Christ, if he would have given up here and said, yeah, um, then he would have uh, stopped the race. He would have stopped the um the clock right and and what what could we have done we we can't save ourselves we need a savior we need a, a perfect sacrifice and Christ fulfills all of that it says and he said to him all these things I will give you if you fall down and worship me so we know that that is um Satan um testing Christ in the wilderness um he's at a hot place and we just need to remember that, you know, we all are working for the Lord, right? We need to make sure that we continue to work for the Lord, that we continue to press in and and go past and beyond what it is that we think that we can do, right? It says, we are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. So our duty is, is as Christians and as believers is to make sure that, you know, Christ's will is done. The Father's will is done on earth as it is in heaven. And so we already know that means taking care of the orphan, taking care of the widow, um, making sure that we are his hands and his feet in this world, showing love towards others, even when they don't, um, do the same, right? So we just need to, um, continue our work, continue pressing in, continue pressing on, and he's going to reward that work, right? He has a reward for those, um, who have, who have, continued in the faith, continue to strive toward that rest. And, and we're going to be able to experience that. Amen. All right, you guys, let's pray. Thank you, Father God, for this word. Thank you that we are unwilling to bow down early or any other time to anything other than you, Christ Jesus. Lord, thank you for resisting temptation, Lord God, thank you for showing us how to do that. And, and Lord, thank you for the shield of faith. Lord God, help us to continue to put one foot in front of the other, working for you, um, looking for you, watching for you, and waiting for you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. All right, you guys. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you and give you his children his peace. Take care.